We should give you a gold medal for the forecast the last couple of days. How beautiful. And tomorrow looks just as quiet, but humidity is going to creep back tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, yeah. keeping rain chances out overnight and tomorrow. Good day for Frisbee tomorrow. Yeah. The only thing that you could really complain about today, Red struggled a little bit at GABP. But there's another game tomorrow, forecasting a blend of sun and clouds with increasing humidity during the game. Overnight, we'll have thickening high-level clouds. There's so much dry air near the ground that at best, Fayette and Union County will see a stray sprinkle overnight, and I'll show you why coming up. For most, just a deck of mid and high level clouds coming in from the west overnight. A mix of sun and clouds tomorrow with humidity building, especially during the afternoon Sunday. Showers and thunderstorms will have to wait until late Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday. Dew point now in Cincinnati is 50. 60 or better for a dew point means it's humid. 70 or better for a dew point means it's steamy. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll have a dew point about 10 to 15 degrees higher than where it is now, and that means we'll become humid into the afternoon. Right now, it's 68 in Cincinnati. There are the clouds being reported at the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. We'll take 68 now in Cincinnati down to around 60 overnight, then pop the temperature up into the mid and upper 80s tomorrow. It will be warm, but it won't be terribly humid into the afternoon, but steamy air comes into the start of the work week. We're in good company with warmth right now. Notice spots still in the 80s down to the southwest, and our flow will be out of the southwest tomorrow. That's one of the reasons why we'll be noticeably warmer for tomorrow compared to today. Made it up to 82 in Cincinnati today. I'm forecasting a high in the mid to upper 80s area-wide tomorrow. This is an upper-level disturbance coming in from the west, and you'll notice showers and thunderstorms earlier today fading away, then redeveloping late in the afternoon and early this evening, but we have a lot of dry air near the ground. So while mid and high level clouds will be in abundance overnight, these showers and spotty thunderstorms soon to be moving into the heart of the Hoosier State will stay to the north. At best, the southern flank of this disturbance will clip Fayette and Union County, but with so much dry air near the ground, at best, we'll see sprinkles from Everton and Connersville over to Liberty. Showers will be focused along into the north of Interstate 70. So we're dry now for the time being with live precision Doppler 12 HD. There may be some sprinkles just clipping the far northwestern corner of the tri-state overnight. For most, just thickening mid and high level clouds between now and sunrise. Notice here on the high resolution model, no rain falling in the tri-state as mid and high level clouds come in from the west. Tomorrow, we'll start with a mix of sun and clouds. Into the afternoon, we'll still have a mix of sun and clouds. This particular run of this model keeps some showers in the far northwestern corner of the tri-state. I'm keeping those into central and east central Indiana for the time being. Other models try to develop some showers in the far southeastern part of the tri-state, but those two, I think, will stay just outside of our area. So, we'll have a dry day tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds. Clouds start to thicken up even more tomorrow night, and we will have waves of showers and thunderstorms coming through Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday night, and early Wednesday. High clouds will be around overnight. We're down to 60 in Cincinnati by 6 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, we'll jump from 68 at 9 to 80 at noon. We're up to 87 by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We become humid into the afternoon. Steamy air is on the way for Monday and Tuesday with waves of showers and thunderstorms. It will not rain every single minute or every single hour of Monday and Tuesday, but odds are good that you will get underneath some clusters of showers and storms both days. Rain moves out by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon, but there will be some more showers to kick off next weekend. And a lot of lawns will need it by then. Very yeah. summer-like pattern. Some people really want some rain. Yeah. It's coming after tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Scott.